Hi, I'm Sandra Steingraber, and I am a proud resident of the Finger Lakes. Today on Monday, there are a lot of people who are being arrested uh, as part of an ongoing civil disobedience uprising to protect Seneca Lake. And this campaign goes by the name We Are Seneca Lake, uh, because all of us who live in this area recognize that this lake, the largest of the 11 Finger Lakes, is a source of drinking water for 100,000 people. Our beautiful lake is being turned into a gas station for fracking. And the intent is to make us, in fact, to make the Finger Lakes a, a hub for the entire Northeast for the storage of, of fracking. Crestwood Midstream is a Houston-based company that specializes in the storage and transportation of natural gas. Um, and it brings out more, for example, uh, oil from the Bakken in North Dakota than almost anyone else is very proud of all those oil trains. That's what, that's what Crestwood does. And now it has the Finger Lakes of New York firmly in its crosshairs. So we have tried every possible legal mechanism to say that this form of economic development, namely storage of fracked gases in salt caverns beneath the lake that serves as a source of drinking water for 100,000 people is inappropriate for us. We don't want it. We have a different vision of what we want for this community. We Are Seneca Lake is an ongoing citizen-based campaign and we would like you to join us. If you have ever vacation in the Finger Lakes, if you've ever enjoyed a glass of Finger Lakes Riesling, if you've ever come to a wedding, if you've ever sent your child to summer camp or hiked in our beautiful gorges, we need you now. Um, so uh, we are Seneca Lake. We dress in blue to show our solidarity with the lake. Um, blue is a color of confidence. It's a color of faithfulness. So a lot of blue clad people are now blockading the gates of what we see as a Texas based trespasser in our community that threatens to um, wreck everything we have going with this misbegotten gas storage project uh, under and beside our lake. Um, so uh, check out our website, wearesenecalake.com. We see Seneca Lake not just as our local struggle, but Seneca Lake is a national treasure. Uh, it's the largest uh, lake wholly contained within New York's boundaries. It's pristine. It is one of the deepest lakes in the world. Um, it, in fact, the bottom of this lake is still considered mysterious. We can't exactly map it. There may be unseen uh, artesian wells that feed it. But we do know this, that if there should be a catastrophic accident or a chemical contamination in Seneca Lake, the, the time of contamination is measured in human generations. We're not talking about a river that could flush itself out after one to two weeks. We're talking about ruining um, a lake that's the source of drinking water and a source of so much beauty and joy and economic prosperity for so many people um, that it would be ruined for uh, generations of people. Martha Ferger, age 90, before she was arrested and put in handcuffs, held up a sign that, that simply said, it's our obligation. And I think that's um, what a lot of us feel so deeply, and that is our, uh, the animating spirit. We bring a lot of love and resolve to this campaign. We expect that it will continue, that we will be at this gate uh, as long as they're there. So we started uh, this campaign when they received their approval, and we will continue this campaign until this invader in our community packs up and goes home.